Welcome to my today's class. Today I'll be taking us on inverse of a matrix. Okay, we'll be looking at how you can find inverse of any given matrix. So here I have my example. I have matrix A. You can see it on the screen and uh, its element. On the first column I have 1, 4, 6. The second column I have 2, 1, 0. The third column I have 3, 5, 2. So this is the matrix and we are going to find its uh, inverse. To find the inverse of this matrix A, this is the solution. Okay, this is the matrix given to us, the matrix A. To find its inverse, this is the format of finding the inverse of a matrix. This is the sign. Okay, in mathematics, this is the sign, the mathematical way of writing inverse of a matrix. You have your A and superscript minus uh, 1. So here I will take the reciprocal of the determinant of the matrix. Determinant is a value. Multiply it by the adjoint. Adjoint of a matrix is also a matrix. Okay. So here we have three by three matrix. The, the adjoint will also be three by three matrix. So let's start with finding the determinant of the matrix. Okay. Here, for this determinant, I will work with the first row. Okay. That means I'm going to be using one, two, three to do my multiplication. I'll work with the first row. So I'll pick, I pick the first element here, which is one. Now, if I pick it, that is why I'm having this one. If I pick it, every element related with it on, that is element on the same row and on the same column, I'll close them up and work with the ones that are not related with it on the same row or column. So I work with one, five, zero, two. So how I got us to is by multiplying one by two. We have two minus zero times five, which is zero. Okay, we are true with the first element. We go to the second element, which is two, and it is negative two. So we'll, we'll, we'll negate it, we have minus two. And for this two now, I'll close every element related with it on the same column and on the same row. So I'm going to work with four, six, five, two. So with that, now I'll multiply four by two, which is how does eight was well, gotten, and then six by five, which is 13, okay? Then plus the third element on that first row, which is three. Okay, I'll also close these elements that are later with it on the same column and on the same row. So I'm going to work with 4, 1, 6, 0. So 4 times 0 is 0. That is how this is gotten. And then 6 times 1 is 6. Okay, so now the next is to open the bracket. So if you open the bracket, we will now have 2 plus 44 minus 18. We'll now add and subtract and we have our determinant. So the determinant for this matrix is uh, 28. Now the next we'll do is to find the adjoint of the matrix A. Okay, to find the adjoint of the matrix, we are going to, you can see already here I have my my determinant. So we are going to work with the matrix given. To find the adjoint, I want you to pay attention here. These are the matrix given, the ones I have on red, one, four, six, two, one, zero, three, five, two. These are the given matrix. So what I did, which is already on the screen, is I repeated this on the back side after putting the matrix given. I repeated 146 here, 146, and then also 210 after 146. I, I wrote it here, you can see it. Then when I'm done with that, I also repeated everything on this row, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, down here, and 4, 1, 5, 4, 1, down here. Now, when you're done with that, the next thing you will do is to close this first row and also the first column. Okay, 
close the elements then you work with the four by four okay as you're working with a four by four okay this is what you do as you work with the rows here uh, the columns here you fix the rows here okay you work with the columns and fix the rows now let me show you how it's done now for the first row you multiply one by two minus zero by five one times two is two minus zero times five which is zero will give you two so this is the two here okay this is the two here next we have zero times three minus two times two so zero times three is zero minus two times two which is four will give us minus four so here we have our minus four okay next we have two times five minus one times uh, three two times five is ten one times three is uh, three so ten minus three will give us seven and this is our seven so we are done with the first row so we are through with this one okay so next we have five times six minus four times uh, two okay or two times four so this will give us 13 minus eight which is 22 here we have our 22 next we have two times one minus three times uh, six which is two minus 18 giving us minus 16 here we have our minus uh, 16 next we have three times uh, four minus five times one three times four is 12 minus five times one is uh, five that is 12 minus five giving us uh, seven so this is our seven we are done with the second row next we have is a uh, four times uh, zero minus six times one so four times zero is zero minus six times one is six so we have a uh, minus six so here is our minus six next we have six times two minus one times zero which is 12 minus zero and it says 12 here is it's our 12. next we have uh, one times one minus four times two one times one is one minus four times two is eight that is one minus eight and it's giving us uh, minus seven so now that we have it all we need is to put it multiply it by the reciprocal of the determinant and this is the inverse so you can see one over the determinant which is 28 multiplied by the adjoint of a which is what we have uh, here so so this is our final result you can see our determinant you can see the adjoint matrix so when you do this you will get your answer and it's very fast okay you can try other sizes and see what your results will be drop your comments thanks for listening